morning students dear students we have already learned addition and subtraction today we will learn how to solve statement sums sum number 1 sukhdev bought a toy car for rupees 120 and a flower pot for rupees 135 from a fair How much money did Sukhdev spend in all? Let's count: one hundred twenty, two hundred twenty, two hundred thirty, two hundred forty, two hundred fifty, two hundred fifty-one, two hundred fifty-two, two hundred fifty-three, two hundred fifty-four, two hundred fifty-five. Sukhdev spent two hundred and fifty-five rupees in all. Dear students, we can solve it like this also. Sukhdev bought a toy car for rupees one hundred twenty. He bought a flower pot for rupees one hundred and thirty-five. So to buy both the things, he spent two hundred fifty-five rupees in all. Sum number two. One box contains three hundred fifty marbles. If two hundred sixty-eight marbles are taken out, how many marbles are left in the box? Students, we can represent three hundred fifty marbles in this way. Also, hundred plus hundred two hundred plus hundred three hundred plus fifty three hundred fifty, and two hundred sixty-eight marbles are taken out from these marbles. Firstly, hundred marbles. Again, one hundred marbles means two hundred marbles are taken out. Then, fifty marbles means two hundred fifty marbles are taken out. Now, rest of the eighteen marbles will be taken out from these hundred marbles. So. Here we have two hundred sixty-eight marbles, and we are left with eighty-two marbles. Dear students, by using second method, we can solve it like this. There are three hundred fifty marbles in a box, and we have taken currency notes equal to marbles. There is no note of rupees one, so zero at one's place. And there are five notes of rupees ten means fifty rupees and fifty rupees means five tens. And there are three notes of rupees hundred means three hundred and three hundred means three at hundreds place. Now two hundred sixty eight marbles are taken out. Dear students, firstly to represent rupees eight, we need eight notes of rupees. One, but here we have no note of rupees one. So, my dear students, we will take ten notes of rupees one in place of one note of rupees ten, because yes, one tens is equal to ten ones. So, dear students, we will put one here, and now we have only four notes of rupees ten. Four notes of rupees ten means four tens. Now we can easily give eight rupees from these ten rupees, and you know eight rupees means eight at one's place. Now, dear students, we have to give sixty rupees, but we are having only forty rupees. So we will take ten notes of. Rupees ten in place of one note of rupees hundred because one hundred is equal to ten tens. So my dear students, we will put one here, and now we have only two notes of rupees hundred means two hundred and two hundred means two at hundreds place. Here we have. Fourteen notes of rupees ten means one forty rupees, and one forty rupees means fourteen tens. And we can easily give sixty rupees from this one hundred forty rupees. 
and 60 rupees means 6 at tens place. And dear students, now we have to give 200 rupees. Let's see. 100, 200 and 200 rupees means 2 at hundreds place. Students, now we are left with, yes, 2 notes of rupees. 1 means 2 rupees and 2 rupees means 2 at ones place. And here we have 8 notes of rupees. 10 means 80 rupees and 80 rupees means 8 tens. But we have no note of rupees. 100. So here 0 at hundreds place. So my dear students, there are 82 marbles left in the box. In the homework, dear students, solve first six statement sums given at page 64 of your maths book. Thank you.